parents, family, friends, and guests, good evening and welcome to our academic award ceremony. Tonight we celebrate JAGS for excellence in academics. Your students have risen to the academic tasks put before them. Tonight we gather to celebrate their accomplishments. During this past school year, they have shown themselves to be outstanding citizens and they have made us extremely proud. They deserve to be celebrated as the extraordinary scholars they are, and that's what we will do. But first, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. I welcome you to an evening where we will celebrate the academic achievements of our students. I cannot begin to tell you how proud I am of each of them. It has been a pleasure getting to know them, the school, staff, and community. My first year at Jolliffe has been filled with exciting moments. Eighth grade field trip to DC in September, football playoffs, appearing with my JNN staffers and pajama days were first for me and I loved every moment because JAGS made each moment special with excitement and gratitude. Thank you, JAGS. We may be closed, but it hasn't stopped you learning. You together with our teachers have done a phenomenal job adapting and adjusting to virtual learning. We may be closed, but it hasn't stopped our celebrations, such as this one tonight or the Athletic Awards Night next week. We may be closed, but it hasn't stopped the fun, spirit weeks, after school activities, poetry slam and talent show. COVID-19 has altered our year and our lives, but we continue to make the best of every single situation. Thank you parents and students. I appreciate every effort. Please sit back and enjoy the evening as we recognize our academic all-stars, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders who have earned one or more of the academic distinctions. Superintendent's Honor Roll, Principal's Honor Roll, Honor Roll, President's Award, Leadership Award, Glow Up Award, Outstanding JAG Award, Debate Team Recognition, and or Academy Selection. We will also announce awards earned through elective courses. Team awards will be announced at special team presentations and times that have been emailed to you and will be available at the end of this program. Good evening. I'm pleased to introduce our elective teachers as they present awards to their students who excel in their respective areas. Electives are important classes providing opportunities for students to experience different skills, techniques, and or cultures. The following teachers will be presenting tonight. Art, Mrs. Alston. Family and Consumer Science, Mrs. Shiner. Foreign Language, Mrs. Dennis and Mrs. Daniels. Music, Mrs. Rosenberg, Mrs. Rossettini, and Mrs. Teeger. Health and Physical Education, Ms. Brooks, Mr. Citizen, and Mr. Brooks. Technology, Mr. Will. Bonsoir, c'est Madame Daniels, prof de français and I'm here to present the awards for Outstanding Achievement in French. In reflecting on the whole school year, I thought about participation, achievement, contributions to class, and putting in the effort to really go above and beyond the basics. The recipients for this year are Talina Pham, Marcel de Guzman, Molly Simpson, and Amalia Lewis. Thanks for contributing to our class in such a meaningful way. Good night. Jolliffe Middle School Spanish One Awards. Bell One, Madeline Simmons. Bell One, Kyla Powell. Bell Two, Hayden Belding. Bell two, Sarah Corrin. Bell two, Caroline Henderson. Bell two, Mary Henderson. Bell two, Melissa Henderson. Bell two, Madison Jones. 
fell to Madison Sykes. Fell three, Michaela Avery. Fell three, Davion Butler. Fell three, Derek Eccles. Fell three, Marquise Smith. Fell three, Liam Hayes. Fell three, Abriana Ridley. Fell three, Jordan Washington. Fell six, Shyla Dickerson. Fell six, Mia Munoz. Fell seven. Michaela Kazi. Fell seven, Caroline Swanton. Fell seven, Jacob Swisher. Fell seven, Cole Heckle. Fell seven, Kendall Tanner. Fell seven, Natalie Collins. Fell seven, Jasmine Iso. Fell seven, Kirsten Michael. Fell seven, Shelby Shepard. Fell seven, Ryan Smith. And bell seven, Ross Smith. Ole. Good morning, Jolly Jaguars. Just want to say, um, first of all, hope everyone's doing well. And it's your favorite teacher's favorite teacher, Mr. Brooks here. And I want to read off a couple PE awards for students who did an awesome job. A lot of students did a great job, but um, each teacher has selected six students from each grade level who they feel have done an awesome job. And we want to bring some recognition to those students at this time. All right. So first off from Mr. Waddell's class, and he told me you guys to tell you hello. Um, for eighth grade, Michaela Avery, Derek Eccles, Henry McFarlane, Luke Gabehart, Francesca Dolphin, and Shala Dickerson. Congratulations to you students. For seventh grade, it's uh, Makai Cody, Jensen Koontz, E.J. Wiggins, Megan Lambright, um, Annan Kearns, Elijah Rutledge. Good job. From sixth grade, Ella Barron, Ethan Bowden, Danielle Sampson, Joey Applewhite, Dorian Walk or Wake, and Blaine Knight. All right, those are Mr. Waddell's students. Congratulations to you all. From Miss Brooks' class, Devin Brooks, she told me, guys, that she misses you guys and um, to have a great summer, and it was a joy. You guys made her first year an incredible one. Um, Layla Joshua, Ryan Smith, Taraya Branch, Cole Heckle, Riley Higgins, and Tyrese Bowles. Good job. Seventh grade, Hannah Christenberry, Divinity Cook, Madela Masters, Josiah Sandifer, um, Zachary Kincaid, and Cam Light. Good job. Um, sixth grade, Jalen McCoy, Taylor, Taylor Faulkner, Shannon Prude, K. 
Caroline Brown, Shania Bates, and Joe Nihas. Y'all gotta excuse me if I can't pronounce all the names. Mr. Sherdison told me guys to tell you he loves you. He miss you guys. And eighth graders have a great summer. Good luck at high school. And, you know, seventh grade and sixth grade, look forward to seeing you guys next year. Uh, start with the sixth grade at Nation Hall, Hayden Mayo, Morgan Johnson, Tamaris Wilson, Matthew Reddick, and Billy Marietta. Seventh grade, got Caitlin. Shears, Shelby Waldrop, Alex Richards, Haroto Kaysen, uh, Pyron Patel, and Caleb T. Eighth grade, Jasmine Iso, Hannah Terry, Cheyenne Stiff, Marcus Dock, Naran. Neron, I can't think of your last, I can't pronounce your last name, but, and Joseph Battle. Joseph J. Battle. Um, let's see. And finally, for my class, the best class, um, you guys know how much I miss you guys already, and, you know, just, I'm speechless, but. Eighth graders have a great summer. Um, everyone have a great summer. Eighth graders, good luck in high school. And without further ado, um, Grillo, Molly, Ashley Cahoon, we're going to miss you. Parker, um, Rylan, and Seth. Um, I put seven names down there. Somebody got left off. Sorry about that. But you guys are all important. Um, seventh grade, we got Kara Williams. She's moving away. We're going to miss her. Um, Michaela Asprey, Mickey Kahn, Logan Adams, Blake Williams, and Brendan Wolford. Good job. Sixth grade, the sixth grade, Madeline Moore, Casey Monte, uh, Marissa, Savannah Phelps. And Zion Artist Bruce. And those are our awards. Tier. PE Department signing out. You guys have a great summer and um, stay safe. Remember, you know, social distance as long as the as long as it's the law and um, stay healthy. Peace. Good evening. We're here to present the Exploratory Elective Awards. Ms. Alston, Mrs. Daniels, Mrs. Shiner, and Mr. Wiggins will each present awards for the various grade levels. Bella Fun. Tahara Branch. Serena Dunn, Serenity Dunn, and Bradley Dow. And for the Family and Consumer Science 8th grade awards, Kathleen Borum, Maya Durr, Christopher Berry, and Brendan Polt. And for eighth grade technological systems, we have Brendan Polt, Seth Webster, Talena Fong, and Savannah Deese. Seventh grade art award goes to Emma Allen, Eldenia Sagay, Kate Large, Kaeja Copeland. 
For exploratory foreign language, the awards go to Brandon Wolford, Blake Williams, Jayla Brooks, and Nigel Hughes. And for seventh grade family consumer science, Chandler Harper Gardner, Caitlin Leonard, Savannah James, and McKaylee Kuhn. And for seventh grade adventures and innovations, the awards go to Caitlin Leonard, Nathan Phillips, Andrew Engelman, and Nev Patel. For the sixth grade art award, the award goes to Ethan Spellbrink, Tessa Jensen, Juliana Patek, and Liam McLean. For sixth grade exploratory foreign language, the awards go to Juliana Pagute, Tessa Jensen, Haley Bishop, and Evan Grandy. And for sixth grade family and consumer science, Cameron Andrioli, Haley Bishop, Jalen McCoy, and Danielle Sampson. And the sixth grade introduction to technology awards go to the following. Amari Dancy, Delasia Kahi, Ayana Ayala, Bradley Sims. Congratulations, everyone. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. you're here. I'm so excited to be here today announcing the recipients of our 2019-2020 Chorus Awards. Each year, us teachers are given the daunting task of choosing students that have shown nothing but exemplary character, participation, leadership, have had great grades, and constantly press for success. With that being said, I wanted to go ahead and begin with sixth grade. Our first recipient is Alice Anderson. Our second recipient is Lauren Rogers. Third, Claire McCartney. And fourth, Guinevere Phipps. Congratulations, sixth grade. You guys have all been amazing. And to these four individuals, congratulations. I'm so excited to see what my entire sixth grade class is gonna do next year. Moving on to seventh grade. Our first seventh grade award goes to Briley Overstreet. Briley also made district chorus this year as an alto, and she was first place in her room. Congratulations, Briley. Next is James Seymour. James has been with me for two years, just like Briley, and he also made district chorus this year. Congratulations, James. Moving forward, we have Shelby Waldrop, or as we like to call her, Mama Shelby. Congratulations. And finally, Caitlin Scherer. Caitlin has had amazing grades this year, and she also made all state chorus this year. It's a super high honor in the state of Virginia, and she had to compete against thousands of other students for one of the 300 slots. Congratulations, Caitlin. And finally, moving on to eighth grade. I've now had these eighth grade students for two years. They've all been wonderful, and if I could give each of them an award, I would. But I had to narrow it down to five. Yes, you heard that right. I have five awards for eighth grade. Four are the normal chorus awards, and one of which is the director's award. So let's get started. First is Nevaeh Teets. Second, Wyatt Key. Third, Shyla Dickerson. By the way, each one of these three made district chorus this year. Some of them also auditioned for Allstate. 
Congratulations, you three. Next is Jerkayla Harris. Jerkayla has been a wonderful student with me as well. She constantly is keeping me in check and keeping her classmates in check. And for that, I'm thankful. Finally, we have our director's award. Our director's award always goes to a student each year that has shown nothing but exemplary character and leadership within my class. They also have to maintain a really good grade and they have to audition for things like district course and state. With that being said, this awardee has been in district course now for two years. She's been selected. She has also maintained a wonderful A average within chorus, is constantly wanting to help her peers, is constantly encouraging of her peers, and she constantly pushes her peers. Additionally, I've had to tell her a few times to not dance in the window in front of my office. But I want to note her biggest achievement this year was making all state chorus in the soprano part. So with all that being said, congratulations, Annalise Guzman. You have been an amazing student, and I'm so looking forward to all the amazing things that you're going to do in your future. With all that being said, congratulations to my eighth grade class. I'm so sad you're going to high school, but I'm so happy to see what's going to be happening next in your future. And for my current sixth and seventh graders, I'm looking forward to next year. We've got a lot of hard work ahead of us, but it's going to be great. Congratulations, all. Love you, miss you, and have an amazing summer. Bye. Hello, I'm the orchestra director, Leah Rosenberg. This is my opportunity to celebrate our wonderful year. The sixth and seventh grade orchestras did such a great job advancing on their instruments, learning so many new techniques. I can't wait to have you all back in the orchestra room. There are four orchestra awards per grade level. These students demonstrated a high level of musicianship throughout the entire year. In sixth grade, the recipients are Alexis Anderson, Renaya Williams, Devin Zerby, and Addison Hinkle. Congratulations, sixth graders. In the seventh grade orchestra, Oria Luwa Adibambo, Zara Rahim, Jaden Lamonia, and Naima Peterson. Congratulations, seventh graders. The eighth graders had an awesome year. In December, they got to perform in concert with an Emmy winning rock violinist. And in March, they earned straight superiors from a panel of four judges at our state assessment performance just two days before the closure was announced. Eighth graders, you have been such an amazing group. I'm sad we didn't get to close out our time in middle school orchestra with the spring concert. It was difficult to narrow it down to just four recipients, but they are Cameron Benton, Carmen Kearney, Mary Beth Henderson, and Caroline Henderson. Finally, there's the big one, the eighth grade director's award for orchestra, normally presented at the spring concert. This year's recipient is a very deserving student. This student's name will be added to a plaque, joining the names of the past recipients, dating back to Jolliffe's first spring orchestra concert in 2002. This plaque remains in the orchestra room. The recipient will also receive an individual award. This student has maintained an extremely high level of performance. In fact, this student has a perfect average on both playing and written evaluations from the entire school year. Both years eligible, this year and last, after a competitive audition, the recipient represented Jolliffe at the Junior District Orchestra event in January. There's more than just doing well to get this award, however. This student is not only a talented musician, wonderful individual. The recipient has always come to class with all the materials and a positive attitude, ready to make music. I pulled up this student's final average. That's including all the practice records, weekly participation grades, 
plus the written and playing evaluations. It's over 101%, the highest in the eighth grade orchestra class. She loves the cello and it has been a true joy to teach her these past three years. I wish I could have presented this award in person at the spring concert, but I am fortunate to have the opportunity to present it virtually. It is my pleasure to announce the director's award for orchestra's 2020 recipient, Madison Jones. Congratulations, Maddie. Hi, Jaguars. This is Mrs. Rossettini, and I'll be presenting our band awards for the 2019-2020 school year. It was really difficult to narrow down my decision to just four students per grade. So I looked at not only their musicianship, their physical grades, but also their citizenship and their helpfulness to their classmates, their level of engagement throughout the year. So from our sixth grade, we have Megan Hunter, she's a trumpet player, Bryce DeRapps, also a trumpet player, Grace Judy, she's a flute player, and Lorenzo Arce, who's a clarinetist. From the seventh grade, Tristan Fields on trumpet, Enrique Wiggins, tuba player, Amari Sykes on clarinet, and James Russell on saxophone. Then in the eighth grade, I'd like to recognize Camlin Gerganis, Luke Gabehart, both are percussionists, and then we also have two flute players, Lillian Pearsall and Caroline Swanton. In the eighth grade, we also have two very special awards. The students will receive a plaque of their own. They're currently being engraved and their names will be engraved on plaques that remain at Jolliffe Middle School forever. Our first recipient is of the Quincy Jones Musicianship Award. This student has gone above and beyond since sixth grade working on her craft on the saxophone. She is a perfectionist. She works really hard. She's always cheerful and pleasant in class. And this year she broke her hand, but she remained engaged and continued to help her classmates and myself as we prepared for assessment. So this year's Quincy Jones Musicianship Award goes to Sienna Grillo. Then the next award is the Director's Award for Band. This is a nationally recognized award. And this year, that student is um, a participant in all district band two years in a row, seventh and eighth grade. It's very difficult for a band student to make it in seventh grade. He was an all city participant and he'll be attending the Science and Medicine Academy at Deep Creek High School this fall. And that is Cole Heckel. Congratulations to all of our band students. I would also like to add that our seventh and eighth grade band earned the highest rating of superior at our band assessment back in March. So each of those students will be earning a medal to wear on their band shirts from here on out. Thank you so much for a fantastic year. I'm sorry that it had to end the way that it did. I look forward to seeing all of you in person in the future very soon. Thank you. Congratulations on making it to the end of this unique school year. For eighth grade, I'd like to recognize three students for having the most I Ready lessons passed. That would be Tyler DeGiulio, Malachi Mitchell, and Layla Darby. I would also like to recognize for the fantastic flip grids that they made, Aiden Hammock and Suji Wilkins. For seventh grade, I'd like to recognize Gabe Thompson, Spencer Henderson, and Deja Brown for the most iReady lessons passed. I'd also like to recognize Giancarlo Montanez for the most dedicated virtual learner and Mason Pennington for a fantastic flip grid. For sixth grade, the most iReady lessons passed, Jalen Johnson, Javante Pork, and Caleb Valentine. I'd also like to recognize Matthew Riddick 
for being the most dedicated virtual learner this year. Thanks again to everyone. Enjoy your summer. Congratulations to all the JAGs recognized through your work and efforts in your elective courses. I would now like to recognize students who made the honor roll once or twice this year. In order to make the honor roll, students must have made grades no lower than a C during the marking period. I would now like to recognize students who have maintained a grade point average between 3.0 and 3.49 for the entire school year. Students are commended for working hard and maintaining good academic standing. academic standing. Again, congratulations, honor roll students. Students who achieved a grade point average between 3.5 and 3.84 on their report card all year made the principal's honor roll. I am pleased to recognize our students who earned this certificate and medal with Navy Ribbon. Navy Ribbon. Please join me in giving them a huge round of applause for the noteworthy accomplishments of Principal's Honor Roll Distinction. Ms. Horton, our 8th grade assistant principal, will now recognize students who earned top honors, the Superintendent's Honor Roll, Debate Team Recognition, and Team Course Awards, the Outstanding JAG Awards. Good evening. I'd like to recognize JAGs who have truly excelled this year. The following students will receive Superintendent's Honor Roll Certificates and medals with navy and white ribbons for achieving a grade point average of at least 3.85 on their report card all year long. participated in the JMS debate team. In addition, 
and we would like to congratulate the following students who competed in the citywide tournament and placed second overall, as well as students with special recognition. Congratulations, Jags. We hope that you continue to be inspired, engaged, and empowered in your classes and studies. Your teachers have noticed, and you should be very proud. At this time, I'd like to bring Mrs. Garrett to the stage for some special awards. I am proud to present the next categories. Each category has unique descriptors and identify students who have excelled in various ways that are truly impressive and remarkable. GLOW, Grades Leading on the Way Up Awards. These students improved every marking period this year. They set goals and worked hard and improved every single marking period. This award is new, but clearly just as worthy as the others presented tonight, as we all understand having perseverance. We all understand wanting something and realizing that the reward will not be immediate, but one off in the distance, and these students had the grit needed to go the distance and improve every single marking period this year, and we are so very proud of them. special achievements by 24 of our 8th grade students. These students have achieved impressive things during their time at Jolliffe Middle and have been selected with a small group of students from across our city to attend special academic academies. It is my pleasure to announce their outstanding appointments. The Governor's School for the Arts is a center for innovation that develops excellence, nurtures creativity, inspires artistic vision, and builds communities with a passion for the arts. The following students have been accepted to the Governor's School of the Arts. <music> International Baccalaureate Diploma Program is a demanding program of curriculum and service that prepares students for rigorous assessments in several subject areas. Upon completion of the program, this diploma is recognized as the most advanced high school diploma offered in the world. Accepted to the pre-international baccalaureate program at Oscar Smith High School are the following students. The goal of the next academy Science and Medicine is to introduce the vast opportunities available in the field of science and medical careers. This academy is located at Deep Creek High School. The following students have been admitted to the Science and Medicine Academy at Deep Creek High. Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Academy, or STEM, is housed at Grassfield High School. It features cutting-edge curriculum, especially designed for students with an interest in and a talent for technology. The following students have been accepted to the STEM Academy at Grassfield High School. Congratulations to these students. We are excited to see you all go across the city and learn new and exciting things in your new school homes. Jolliffe Teachers and Administration are excited to present you with a copy of Oh the Places You'll Go and your new school paraphernalia. We look forward to hosting a special pickup day for these items. Congratulations. The next award is the highest academic award a student can receive. It is a national award and is presented at the student's exit grade in school, which in this case is the eighth grade. 
The students who earn this award must have completed a challenging curriculum that has rendered the student academically fit while maintaining a grade point average of at least 3.5 during their entire middle school career. This year, the following students have received this academic honor. Jolliffe Leadership Award. This award is given to a student who has shown leadership qualities in multiple areas of our school community. Congratulations, Mr. Jacob Swisher. our students and celebrate their amazing achievements. Thank you to Mrs. Sarah Salamino, our phenomenal TIS. She orchestrates all of our virtual events. I'd like to extend a special thanks to the entire faculty and staff for their commitment and dedication to Jolliffe Middle School. Our school and school community is remarkable due to their efforts. Thank you to our students who make coming to school the highlight of my days. I miss you all. And a very special thank you to our parents and families. We appreciate your support of your student and our school. We know that the last few months have turned you into teachers, custodians, cafeteria workers, administrators, and bus drivers. Thank you for subbing in for us and working with us. These awards are yours as well. Thank you and have a good evening.